Okay, Smyrna Loy, aka Black White News. Yeah, I'm going to try and explain about whether or not women, especially black women, look into things too much. Um, and I'm going to start off with an example with myself first, and then I'm going to go on to um, what other people have told me. Now, my fellow said he was going to call me over the weekend, and he actually said he was going to come around. So I said, OK, but if you're not coming, please let me know. He said, no problem. I'm definitely coming. So anyway, um, it's a Sunday afternoon. I'm waiting. Um, gets up till about and I'm thinking, what a beautiful day. We can go to the picnic. We can go to the park. We can do this. We can do that. It comes up to about four o'clock and I'm thinking, hmm, by the time he comes over, it's going to be too late to go for a picnic. It's going to be too late to go for a drive. Anyway, so I'm not going to call because I didn't want it to look like I'm pressuring. So six o'clock comes and I'm thinking, I can't believe he hasn't called to say he's on his way yet. But. I find, my, I find something to occupy myself and I, I'm left unruffled. Then, it's about 7.30, I'm like, nah, 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 this is totally not right. Because he told me he was coming in the afternoon. Now, I was in a dilemma at that point. I was in a dilemma whether or not to call and, you know, to give him a going over because I'm thinking to myself, you know, I told you to call me. If you weren't coming, what is the problem? If you're not coming, if something's come up, you've changed your mind, why can't you just call? Anyway, long and short of it is, didn't come, didn't call. Now I'm pissed off now, so I decide that, you know, I'm not going to answer any calls, I'm not going to answer the phone. So I switch the phone off and... Um, I go about my business, I do a few little things that I wanted to do anyway. So anyway, the next morning um, I get a call. I didn't see it because the phone is switched off. And I'm thinking to myself, well, he's not dead. He hasn't left a message. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this is the second time he's done it. I should throw in the towel. He's not a considerate person. I can't be bothered. Anyway, I, I, start, I decided to speak to a white woman at work. Now, she's been in a marriage for 14 years. 14, no, she was with the bloke for 14 years and she got married to him last year. And I said to her, you know something? I said, you've been in a relationship for nearly 15 years. And I said, I've got this situation where my fella, he says he's going to call me. Or he says he's going to come. And then he doesn't come and I tell him to call and he doesn't call and she shrugged her shoulders and she said well next time you speak to him again just tell him sorry just tell him that um, he needs to call you and let you know and that his his behavior isn't good enough I said, but I told that to him. I told it to him twice. She goes, well, tell him again. It baffled me. So I said to her, well, you know, I think he's inconsiderate that he's not calling me. And I think he should call me. And or at least call me and let me know he's not coming. She said, Myrna, you're looking, you're looking, too, you're looking into it too much. And I was totally baffled. She just said, just call him up, apologise for not picking up the phone and just tell him that his behaviour isn't, isn't um, acceptable. And why I'm saying, do we look too much into it? This was a white woman who had been in a relationship for a long time. She wasn't a taught the fact that you know, he'd done it twice, it had no relevance. What she was saying is that, tell him again, tell him again. 
And it made me wonder if we do look into things too much, whether we do take things too seriously, whether we shouldn't um, take on these little annoyances and just let them go over our heads. It also made me think about the ego. Is it the ego or is it some, are we telling ourselves something when that behaviour happens? Are we telling ourselves, well, he doesn't care, I'm not good enough, whatever message we are telling ourselves that adds fuel to the fire. And I think as simple as her message was, it was, it more or less said, don't worry about it. Just let it be. It doesn't matter. It's not important. I thought that was so, it was such an eye opener that I had to share it with you because I'm sure I've spoken to a lot of, I don't know if it's a black woman thing or not, but I know I've spoken to a lot. If that was a black woman, I'd ask advice. She would have said, dash him, we're finished with him. He's no good. He's this, he's that, blah, 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 blah. You know the story. Um, but it's the first time I'd actually asked um, somebody who had a history of making something work um, for advice because I do tend to take these things personally I do tend to take it on the old you know even though I know he cares about me I know that and I know he's probably just lazy and he can't be bothered or whatever I know that but it still didn't negate the fact that I went through all of these things of thinking oh you know this and that and when it's quite simple just address the behaviour but don't make it into an issue. So I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you find it helpful. Bye.